What came before us is Dot. What came before us is Q. What came before us is Rock. Like these are like legendary, once in a generation artists. There's a lot of expectations that come with that. I heard the mixtape, you know, J Rock, Top, Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? We, we go kind of far back. This came up like when we was like just starting off. Yes. I was a fan of this nigga before anything. For me, there's no reason not to root for him. So that's the whole thing to me is he's the project champion. Like it's nothing more to be said at that point. What's up, y'all? Welcome to my place. This is Cribs. Come through, man. Was your dad in a gang or something? Yeah, he's yeah. affiliated. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Everybody sit your bitch ass down and listen to true motherfucking story. Starting in Carson, California, and the world to artists such as Kendrick Lamar, Schoolboy Q, SZA, The Black Heavy Group, and more, TDE is responsible for the Black Panther movie soundtrack and the song that became the 2019 BLM anthem, All Right, by Kendrick Lamar. TDE is in partnership with legendary industry giants such as Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine, residing on the Interscope label under Aftermath, similar to Shady Records and G-Unit Records. It's even drawn comparisons to the iconic Death Row label, which was responsible for a lot of Tupac's music and was run by Suge Knight, who was with Tupac in his last moments. This is the history of Top Dog Entertainment. 1974. Anthony Tiffith is born April 20th, and from this day forward, most of his personal life is kept in the shadows. All we know is at some point, he managed to pick up the nickname Top Dog, commonly being referred to as Top. Revealed in 2017, original year unknown. At some undisclosed point between 1974 and the founding of the TDE label, Top is involved in criminal activity. In one instance revealed on Kendrick Lamar's song Duckworth from his album Damn, we hear about him robbing a KFC. At this KFC works a man named Kenny Duckworth, who is a gang member in the local area. Without knowing if there is any gang tension or relations between Kenny and Top, in the song we hear that Kenny was nice to Top and his friends when they would visit the KFC, giving them free food and drinks. Because of this, Kenny got lucky during the robbery and Top told his friends to let Kenny go, unharmed, and he stayed on their good side since then. In the years leading up to the formation of TDE, some building blocks and members of the TDE label inhaled their first breath before finding a way to make their dreams come true with their exhale, beginning in 1985. A man named Johnny Reed McKenzie Jr. is born on March 31st in the Watts neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. 1986. A man named Quincy Matthew Hanley is born on October 26th on a U.S. airbase in Weisbaden, West Germany. 1987. A man named Herbert Anthony Stevens IV is born on February 23rd in Los Angeles, California. Another man is then born, but in Compton, California on June 17th by the name of Kendrick Lamar Duckworth. 1989. A woman named Solana Imani Rowe is born in St. Louis, Missouri. 1991. A man named Isaiah Rashad Joel McLean is born on May 16th in Chattanooga, Tennessee. 1997. Top, inspired by the success and realism of the West Coast sound from artists such as Dr. Dre and Tupac, chooses to abandon his criminal activity and become a record producer. He then works with artists such as The Game and Juvenile, as well as others, before he seems to go back to making most of his moves behind the curtains in silence until... 2003. When he finds a local aspiring 15-year-old rapper who would then release his first mixtape in 2004. Titled YHNIC Hub City Threat Minor of the Year, released under Concrete Jungle Music. This gains the artist some attention and results in Top focusing more on him. This artist goes by the name of K-Dog, whose real name is Kendrick Duckworth, and is signed to the Def Jam label at the time. Top then officially launches Top Dog Entertainment with co-founder Terrence Henderson, aka Punch, a high school classmate of Kendrick Lamar's and producer Dave Free, referencing his own nickname, Top Dog, for the label title. 2005. TDE signs K-Dot at the Compton Local after Dave Free helps him into making an entrance to Top. They also sign a Watts, California-based rapper associated with a blood gang, J-Rock, as well as the label's production team, Digiphonics, consisting of the producers Soundwave, Willie B, Tay Beast, and childhood friend and manager of K-Dot, Dave Free. Dave Free would also then become the label's social media manager. Then, perhaps as a foreshadow in hindsight for these individuals, as a child, k was on the sideline of the filming for the music video California Love by Dr. Dre and Tupac. He also attended the same high school as Dre, where he was a straight-A student. Even more coincidental, after Top and k began talking, they soon discover that k is actually the son of Kenny, the man that Top spared in his KFC robbery from back in the day. k then releases his first mixtape under the TDE label, titled Training Day. The label begins to see its first signs of success from the member J-Rock, leading to the label earning a merger with Warner Bros. as well as Asylum Records. However, after these companies failed to handle J-Rock's debut album, Follow Me Home, as desired, Top began planning an exit strategy. 2006. Sometime between now and next year, K-Dot becomes an opening act for the West Coast legend, The Game, 
who Top has produced for in the past. Dave Free is also promoted to the president of TDE. 2007. Carson-based rapper Absol is added to TDE, as well as Dave Free also signing a recording contract. Fun fact, Absol's signature black glasses look is not a gimmick. Sol was diagnosed with a condition called Steven Johnson Syndrome, which makes his eyes hypersensitive to light and his lips extra dark. 2008. TDE releases a compilation album titled Do It, Do It, It, I'll put it on the screen for you, Do It, Blank Squad, featuring artists from the label, as well as outside artists such as Schoolboy Q, Lil Wayne, and Will I Am. 2009. Formerly mentioned artist Schoolboy Q, who is associated with the Crip Gang, a rival gang of the Bloods, which J-Rock is associated with, is signed at TDE, though he had been collaborating with them since 2006. He credits 50 Cent for his start in rap music, even going as far as saying that 50 probably saved his life. Q then suggests that he, J-Rock, Absol, and K-Dot form a rap group. They all agree in the group Black Hippie is created. Q then releases his first mixtape under TDE, Gangsta and Soul, in collaboration with his old label, GED Inc. Q's first daughter is then born on April 24th. Absol also releases his debut mixtape, Long Term. And then KDOT releases his third and final mixtape under the name KDOT, C4, and then changes his stage name to his real first name and real middle name, Kendrick Lamar. He is then co-signed by Metaphor King Lil Wayne, who his C4 mixtape is heavily inspired by, especially his album, The Carter 3. 2010. J-Rock drops his mixtape, Tales from the Hood 2, and From the Hood to the cover of XXL before going on tour with 50 Cent. He then ends his contract with Warner Bros. Records due to them delaying his album. However, J-Rock then signs to Strange Music and goes on tour with Kendrick, E-40, and fellow rapper and Strange Music founder, Tech 9 J-Rock then features on the year's XXL freshman list and releases it on their mixtape, Black Friday. Absol then releases his second mixtape and sequel to his first, Long Term 2, Lifestyles of the Broke and Almost Famous. Kendrick then releases his fourth mixtape, Overly Dedicated, which would go on to reach 72 on the US Billboard Top R&B Hip Hop albums. A little over a week after the mixtape is initially released online through digital retailers, it is released online for free. Ignorance is Bliss, a song off the mixtape gets enough online buzz to get the attention of Dr. Dre, who then invites Kendrick to work with him and Snoop Dogg on Dre's infamous album, Detox. 2011. Kendrick is featured on the XXL annual freshman list alongside Q's friend and fellow rapper, Mac Miller, as well as others. He also releases a single, High Power, produced by fellow rapper and future point of comparison, J. Cole. High Power is not only a single, but a movement by Kendrick and TDE to lift a destructive generation to greater heights, with each of the eyes standing for heart, honor, and respect. Kendrick cites his inspiration for the movement to be Tupac's Thug Life movement, saying that Tupac once came to him in a dream and said, Keep doing what you're doing. Don't let my music die. Later in the year, Kendrick releases his debut album, Section 80, a concept album about two women who realize that their boyfriends are unfaithful and begin sleeping with each other, lacking trust in men. The album is predominantly produced by Soundwave, as well as some being produced by Top. It reaches 113 on the Billboard 200 and becomes certified gold. Kendrick is certified the new king of the West Coast by legends Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and The Game. This year, Kendrick appears on albums by Tech 9 Ninth Wonder, The Game, and Drake. J-Rock releases his debut album, Follow Me Home, debuting at 83 on the Billboard 200. The single Hood Gon' Love It is featured in the trailer for the GTA 5 game, as well as in the game on the usable radio. Q then releases his debut album, Setbacks, reaching 100 on the Billboard 200 before putting the album out for free a week after its arrival. By this time, he had left his gang life behind for music, though he was arrested a week later for marijuana possession. Absol releases his debut album, Long Term Mentality, reaching 73 on the US top R&B hip hop albums. Label president Punch releases his single, Project Window. 2012. Q releases his second album, Habits and Contradictions, executively produced by Top and debuting at 111 on the Billboard 200. In February, Soul's longtime girlfriend, Alori Jo, commits suicide, leaving a large impact on Soul as well as the recording of his next album. Soul still eventually manages to release his second album, Control System, debuting at 83 on the Billboard 200 and featuring Alori on the track, Empathy. Kendrick then enters a joint venture deal with Interscope Records and Aftermath Records, loosely tying TDE and TDE's roster to Aftermath. I have an entirely separate video on the history of Aftermath if you're interested in learning more about that. Because of this deal, Kendrick is now able to release his second album and first major label debut, Good Kid Mad City, through Aftermath, Interscope, and TDE. It reaches number 2 on the Billboard 200 and becomes certified 3 times platinum. He also wins the BET Hip Hop Award for Lyricist of the Year. J. Cole then announces that him and Kendrick will be dropping a collaboration album. 2013. 
Kendrick Lamar is baptized before featuring on Big Sean's track Control, and beyond meeting Dre, this is what really blows him up in the mainstream hip-hop scene. On the track, he vows to lyrically murder every other up-and-coming rapper, including J. Cole, Big Crit, Wale, Pusha T, Meek Mill, ASAP Rocky, Drake, Big Sean, J. Electronica, Tyler the Creator, and Mac Miller. This receives responses from many of the named rappers, as well as a few who weren't targeted, including Meek Mill, Lupe Fiasco, Cassidy, Joe Budden, King L, Bazaar, and B.O.B. Kendrick also declared himself the King of New York, and after this verse, his Twitter following increases by 510%. TDE then signs two more artists, the previously mentioned Tennessee native Isaiah Rashad, and the other previously mentioned up-and-coming singer Solana Imani Rowe, going by the stage name of SZA, the label's first female artist. Kendrick Lamar wins five more BET Hip Hop Awards, including Album and Lyricist of the Year again, and GQ names him Rapper of the Year, putting him on the cover of their Man of the Year issue. Kendrick is then famously snubbed at the Grammys for Macklemore's The Heist album, which actually features Schoolboy Q and Absol. Tech 9 then announces that J-Rock has left Strange Music, and Q and Solar then featured on the 2013 XXL freshman list. 2014. Q releases his major label debut, Oxymoron, topping the Billboard 200 and going platinum. He is also featured on the cover of The Source magazine. Soul then releases his third album, These Days, debuting at 11 on the Billboard 200. SZA also releases her EP, Z, debuting at 39 on the Billboard 200. Rashad releases his EP, The Sylvia Demo, debuting at 40 on the Billboard 200, and Punch then releases five singles. 2015. J-Rock releases his second album, 90059, which is a Los Angeles zip code partially covering Compton. It debuts at 16 on the Billboard 200. Kendrick then releases his third album, To Pimp a Butterfly, debuting atop the Billboard 200, becoming certified platinum, and claiming Spotify's first day streaming record at the time with 9.6 million streams. He also wins Grammys for Best Rap Performance and Best Song for his single I, and Best Music Video for his song with Taylor Swift, Bad Blood. His song All Right also becomes an anthem for the Black Lives Matter civil rights movement of the time. He is then featured on the cover of Rolling Stone, and Punch releases three more singles. 2016. Kendrick wins five more Grammys, including Best Rap Album for De Pimp a Butterfly. He then releases Untitled Unmastered, a compilation album of tracks that didn't make it on De Pimp a Butterfly. This album of unfinished bonus tracks debuts atop the Billboard 200. Kendrick then visits the White House to meet with President Barack Obama involving the My Brother's Keeper Challenge. J-Rock then gets into a motorcycle accident, breaking multiple bones and undergoing surgery before recovering well. Q also releases his fourth album, Blank Face LP, debuting at number 2 on the Billboard 200 and going gold. Soul also releases his fourth album, Do What Thou Wilt, debuting at 34 on the Billboard 200. And Rashad releases his debut album, The Sun's Tirade, debuting at 17 on the Billboard 200. TDE then signs Lance Skiwalker, who has previously appeared on songs with Q and J-Rock. TDE also signs Englewood singer Sir. Skiwalker then releases his album, Introverted Intuition, and Sir releases his EP, Her. TDE president Punch then releases three more singles. 2017. Kendrick releases his fourth album, Damn, which debuts atop the Billboard 200 and goes triple platinum. The album features the song Duckworth, which recounts the previously mentioned history between Top and Kendrick's father. SZA announces a major label contract with RCA Records and releases her debut album, Control, spelled CTRL, debuting at number 3 on the Billboard 200, going double platinum, and is declared the best album of 2017 by time. Sir also releases his follow-up to Her, Her 2. 2018. TDE releases the soundtrack, Black Panther, for the Marvel movie of the same name. It is executively produced by Top and Kendrick, and wins Kendrick his first Academy Award for the song, All the Stars. Kendrick then wins another five Grammy Awards and makes his acting debut as a Dominican drug addict on 50 Cent's show, Power. Kendrick personally requested this appearance through his relationship with 50 in an attempt to portray a character totally different from his music persona. J-Rock then releases his third album, Redemption, debuting at number 13 on the Billboard 200. Around now, Q was planning to release his sixth album, but ultimately delays it due to the death of his close friend and fellow rapper, Mac Miller. Sir then releases his second album, but his first release under TDE, titled November. TDE also signs another Carson-based rapper by the name of Reason, who had previously featured on TDE released songs. He then re-releases his mixtape, There You Have It, which had released last year, but now distributed under TDE. Kendrick is also then the first non-jazz or classical music artist to be awarded a Pulitzer Prize on May 30th. 2019. J-Rock wins his first Grammy for his single King's Dead, featuring Kendrick Lamar as well as Future and James Blake. Q then releases his sixth album, Crash Talk, debuting at number three on the Billboard 200 after the birth of his second daughter on January 4th. Co-president of TDE and high school classmate of Kendrick, Dave Free announces he is leaving TDE to start a new company with Kendrick Lamar. His reasoning for this is that the music industry has changed, as formerly you'd need to develop a relationship with blogs to get the artists noticed, but now it is more focused on streaming and getting good with the streaming service industry. SZA then announces that she has an upcoming album. 
Sir also releases his third album, Chasing Summer, debuting at number 64 on the Billboard 200. Reason then takes part in the Dreamville sessions for their compilation album, Revenge of the Dreamers 3. TD also signed singer Zakari to the label, who was previously featured on many TD projects. He then releases his EP, Run Wild Run Free. 2020. Kendrick Lamar and Dave Free found PG Lang. Says assigns to Endeavor, an American media talent company, for her representation. She also tweets to ask Punch, the former TDE president, for her new music, indicating she has a hostile relationship with him after delaying her second album. Reason releases his debut album, New Beginnings, and TDE signs Long Beach rapper Ray Vaughn. 2021. Kendrick, the label's best-selling artist, announces he will be releasing his last album for TDE before leaving to fully focus on PG Lang with Dave Free. Rashad sends a joint venture deal with Warner Records and releases his second album, The House is Burning, debuting at number 7 on the Billboard 200. Ray Vaughn also releases his EP, Peer Pressure. 2022. Kendrick features in the Super Bowl 56 halftime show alongside Dr. Dre, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, and Mary J. Blige, with surprise performances by 50 Cent and Anderson Pock. This wins him the Primetime Emmy for Outstanding Variety Special. In March, TDE signs Florida rapper and singer Dochi in a split deal with Capitol Records. Kendrick also releases his fifth and final album under TDE, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, on May 13th, debuting atop the Billboard 200. On August 5th, Dochi releases her major label debut EP, She, Her, She, Al. On October 28th, Scissor releases a single titled Shirt, with a music video featuring Lakeith Stanfield. Soul then releases the album Herbert on December 16th featuring Punch, Zakari, Lance Skiwalker, as well as Joey Badass, Jen Akio, Russ, Big Sean, and more. 2023. In February, Soul performs an NPR Tiny Desk concert before Kendrick performs in the Louis Vuitton Men's Spring Summer Show in June in honor of their late artistic director, Virgil Abloh, who passed away on November 21st of 2021 at 41. The History of TDE the story of TDE so far has introduced us to the Black Hippie Collaboration Group, made of label artists Kendrick Lamar, Schoolboy Q, J-Rock, and Absol, as well as bringing us SZA, Isaiah Rashad, Reason, Sir, Lance Skiwalker, Zakari, Ray Vaughn, and Dochi. Only time is left to tell what's in the future for the label. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you learned something new, spread the knowledge and share it with others. And if you had any thoughts, recommendations, or suggestions related to the content, Put them in the comments. Keep up with Kalan Wire between the videos on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook linked in the description below. Thanks for plugging in, and I hope you learned something new. More is in the works, but that's all for this at the time. It's time to unplug. Much love.